Yeah. Yep, we're back like we never left, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for choosing this channel as your channel of choice and making sure that you do go to our select few YouTube, which is select few ZA. Press like, press share, and tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. All right, man, take us to the last topic, Malky D. Last topic here, we're going to be discussing a phenomenon that has been happening for quite a while. But we, we let it pass, but uh, well, I think it's high time that we confront uh, and dig into it and see exactly what's up with it. Um, suburban kids, why is suburban oh, yeah. kids like acting like some digital thugs, uh, well, studio gangsters, tough and young? Uh, well, you, you look at this situation yeah. like a South Africa, uh, well, it rappers a lot, but mostly kids from middle class, upper, upper middle class. But the moment mm. like, they get behind the mic, then they start becoming thugs. They becoming tough. Uh, what are we, yeah, what's up with La Persona? Like? Have you noticed this? I think yeah, you know, this goes back, like, um, even even most of the rappers that were popping, they mm. came from a middle class family. But because of hip hop, was uh, it was like gangster. So they wanted to be part of the narrative. Want, wanted to be part of the of of, of the conversation. So the end up now, even with Ramses, for my sake, you know, that they did not live through, kind of, that they do not go through. Case yeah. in point, uh, your friend, yeah. <laughs> Biggie Smalls. <laughs> oh, Biggie Smalls came from his family, Ekren. His mom's, his mom's was a teacher, yeah. but he wanted to be part of the narrative. He Ramses, I came about a life that he did not actually live. Oh, yeah. So about they want to be part of the narrative. That is why they act up. They act as if they are gangster, but they not. Yeah. Check with Rick Ross. Yeah. I don't know he's gangster, but some people <laughs> might. Some people because who who Rick Ross got some people there. Paya Nagoya, like who's that red-headed mm. nigga? Lawe. Wale. Wale. Ah, not Wale. Um. Ah, flip. But Lena, 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 dude, Lena. But Lena, that was caught on camera. Lawe. He put an account in the eye or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. But yeah. he so he's got some real, so some 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 people that are saying that that are begging up his gangster. So yeah. I'm not sure about him. All right, yo, I don't know, niggas, but we're gonna do it. As young man is, is 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 that trip on social media, like yeah. that drama, aka inviting people out for fights and stuff. <laughs> Knowing he ain't gonna do that. <laughs> well, you know, I feel like that he knows the guy. He probably must get egged. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, we get egged. Yeah. So as yeah. niggas, yeah. just believe it too much. Like, like characters he uses, they so much, they invest yeah. so much into his character. So, so that as Liba, so Liba, Liba. Well, you know, with the army, yeah. so he, like character set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, until we figure out yeah, who was his real mom. Then we <laughs> put the niggas into place, and here yeah, some tough rappers apologizing on the TL. But yeah, I'm very sorry. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> confronted yeah, man. Yeah. Like, 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 we like, like we, we underground rappers like is 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 core like locally. Yeah. The niggas will be out here on on Facebook, man, acting acting all tough. Mm. That will, about the banana, I saw me like yo, nigga, but still, gun then. Ah, been said that she, man, even Facebook, lo, as we chat a serious, chat a serious, yeah. It happens a lot, that way. By the way, the artist, look, I feel like you rappers, I've never seen Liba Alibana. They are these poets, yeah, bro. So, because more of them must figure out who are out of their nicknames, Zack gangsters, yeah, bro. Rappers are more like oh Shakespeare, more than they are like on oh Escobar, no buy. But my book is really making a real point, but yeah. <laughs> well, someone must be like, well, I go, go Shakespeare, I go. <laughs> maybe Shakespearean characters on my own Macbeth. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. So the, oh, 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 Rick Ross, Noriega, Escobar. Okay, you tell me, it could yeah. be like that. From his suburbs, life is very quiet. You're living in a cave yeah. society. The walls are very high. So you you have access to your television. Then your television sort of makes up for you to get access to your real world. Yeah, well, you think Landy and the guy, the lady and the guy, TV. So I'm the person of this tough guy. So when I get behind the booth, 
then I started talking about talk. Uh, that could be the reason yeah. why you're seeing the influx of you. So it's this studio gangsters, basically. <laughs> the digital thugs. Yeah, uh, exactly. Like <laughs> 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 Keep on gangsters. Mika Yenzega, this Ulanduka, Uanga, is not a rapper, though. Ulanduka, Anga Makubal, not music. Yeah, there was some dude. ทุเมลิปิกชายาเป็นเซเลกันดิกบอยนะดิสอคุมอุซาเลลิเตตาโยโยโซอินเดอร์วินชาลาเลวาไอวันดูบาอุนักญาณังไอบีซานาโลนิ